And so on. Well, welcome everybody. Seems I've lost my head. Switch cameras real quick. It's Bruce, the gig farmer, coming back at you with another video. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the Beatles' Norwegian Wood, the band that gave us the Yellow Submarine and uh, cool painting behind me here. You can see the lads from Liverpool. I'm a big Beatles fan. Arguably the most influential band in rock pop music uh, because they were doing things back in the 60s that was brand new and people hadn't seen before. But we don't want to talk about the history of the band, we want to talk about this song. Now, Norwegian Wood is a great tune. I believe that uh, John wrote it, I think he capoed it up at four or five. I capo it lower so I can sing in a lower key. Helps me with my voice. You can take a, a song like this, which is based in a D form, and move it up three frets, and then you're actually playing the song in the key of F, which as I said previously, fits my voice. So a good way to start with this tune is to, you gotta have a D chord down, and, and you're gonna work your fingers on off of this D chord, okay? You can hold the D chord down, or at least these two fingers here, okay? I've got the first and second string fingers, middle finger on the first string, ring finger on the second string, holding down the chord while I play a scale, okay? I've got everything except the seventh degree there. I've got D, fourth string open. I'm reaching up with my pinky, I'll try to get the other fingers out of the way so you can see. There's E, which is, we'll call it E, it's not really E, it's really G, but we're, we'll pretend like we're in the, in the key of D while we're explaining the chords, it'll be easier. So there's your second fret note, your fourth fret note is the pinky. Pinky gets work on this song. Go up to the third string, play it open, third string, second fret, third string, fourth fret. And then there's the seventh, but to get to the seventh, we'd have to break the chord a little bit. Um, and finally, the octave. So we're going to leave the seventh out. It's not in the song anyway. So practice that a little bit to where those notes are fairly clean. Uh, the toughest ones are probably going to be this reach to the fourth string with your pinky or third string with your pinky, right? Those are hard. Once you get that down, we can start talking about the melody of the song. So I, that's a third string and you're already playing it because you've got the, uh, the D chord, you're already playing the A note. Then you're gonna go, uh, this is third string, uh, fourth fret. So there's a, um, another, we'll call it the B note. Back to the A, to the open. So the first four notes are gonna be. You wanna hear that chord ringing while you're playing. You don't wanna go and, and mute the chord. That wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't make it sound very good. Fifth note that you're gonna play in that sequence, you go down to the fourth string, fourth fret. Then you have a pause. Those are the, the first four notes. So that second set, we'll call it, is fourth fret, fourth string. I once had a girl, or I'm sorry, it starts with the uh, fourth string, second fret. <laughs> Open third string, fourth string, fourth fret, fourth string open. Finally got it. So it goes like this, one, two, three, two, two, three. And 
at this point you're going to change a chord. The, the melody note, you want it to be accompanied by the chord. So the chord has to ring while you're playing. Then what you're going to do is keep this finger in place. I do anyway. And I bring my middle finger up to the fifth string third fret. And play that note. And then I think he goes to the third string open. Sometimes I hit the fourth string. They both sound pretty good. Uh, you follow that up with the fifth string, second fret, fifth string open. So you're playing, you're outlining a, a C chord there. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. And then back to the D. Putting it all together, we've got one, two, three, two, two, three. I once had a girl. Or should I say, missed one there, she once had me. I added a pinky on the first uh, string, third fret as well. Gives a nice drone. But a lot of these are just little color notes that I throw in because I've played the song a thousand times. And once you've played it a thousand times, you'll be doing the same thing, I bet. One thing about the timing in this is that uh, it is in 3-4 time. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, it's not four, four time. That's why I've been counting it off one, two, three, two, two, three, instead of one, two, three, four. If you're playing in three, four time, you need to count it in in three, four time. Let's talk about the chorus. It's a D minor, and I believe they, they add a, a pinky to the D minor on the first string, third fret. She asked me to stay, and then they take the, the pinky off. Asked me to stay. Practice this D minor chord. And you want to add the G to it. D minor sus4, if you want to call it that. Back to D. D minor sus2. When you take your index finger off the first string, you're only holding two notes there. So. I usually hit the D minor first. I might even hammer on the... Uh, or you could just play D minor if you want to. She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. Goes to a G. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. Second time you go to E minor. And then to A or or A7, or A sus2, or whatever A you want. They probably just played a regular A. And you let that chord ring. And then you're back to the verse and another chorus, and uh, I think a verse, and you're out. Let's talk a little bit about the strumming pattern, because I haven't touched on that yet, and it, it's a little different. What I'm doing there, if we just take the D chord and practice this, I'm going... What exactly is that? Well, it's an accent on the one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I have a two and three and. A little bit of a strum there. Very light. It kind of keeps the syncopation going. Taka taka boom, taka taka boom. Right? If I just played, I once had a girl. Oh, should I say? That, that would sound okay, but you're not really getting the rhythm of the song if you do that. So you see when I'm, when I hit a melody note or two or three or four, I'm not strumming, but as soon as that melody note ends, 
I throw in that little chinka chinka, okay? So take some practice to get that. Start, I think, with just the, the regular chords and get that feel. It's like I've talked about in tons of my other videos, whether it's 16th note timing or 8th note timing, 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, you want to keep the hand moving at all times. If you stop, you lose that syncopation. Hopefully that gives you uh, a little uh, insight into how to play this song. If you've got some other uh, ways that you play it, uh, be sure to leave a comment and uh, tell me about it. If you like this video, please hit subscribe, like. Uh, I've got a Patreon channel also if you want to support that way. Really appreciate it. Thanks a bunch for uh, checking in with me and hope to see you again on the channel. told me to sit anywhere So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair I sat on her rug biding my time drinking her wine And we talked until two and then she said it's time for bed Good night, everybody.